Hello, times crossword, let's go. Argument having value for the poet. I'm going to secure newspaper crown. No. Trendy bishop booted out of seaside town. No. Attacker losing a knight, perhaps. This looks like attacker losing a. And then knight, perhaps, is the definition, but I'm not getting it. Way of teaching. This is phonics, which is a way of teaching. And arrangement is the anagram indicator for Chopin's. Penniless old folk reaching island refuge. No. Exceptionally sweet pa full of energy. This looks like an and lit clue where exceptionally is the anagram indicator for sweet pa and full of the letter E, the abbreviation for energy. So is there an anagram of sweet P? Which also means, well, which also fits the entire clue. We've got the P in. No, not getting that. Absent minded, head of BBC came down after broadcast. Attacks wasted on criminal ones arrested. Wow. What a stiff challenge today. Sneer at corrupt monarch who might hail from Java. So corrupt looks like an anagram indicator of sneer at. And then monarch could be E-R. So if it ended E-R, then we're looking for an anagram of sneer at. And this is Easterner. Yeah, and... Java is in the Far East, so that fits the definition. Female receiving second shot. Female could be her or hen or dam or just any woman's name. And second could be S. So if the S were here, an island refuge could be an oasis. So old folk are OAPs, the abbreviation in the UK for old age pensioners. Reaching Ireland, well, IS is the abbreviation for Ireland. So S is in third place. And it means shot with a question mark. Not getting that. Attacks wasted on criminal ones. Arrested. No. Increasingly intolerant. Hurried back to confront Bowman, perhaps. No. Pretty good cleaner will leave things thus. Gosh. I feel like it's something like out of order, but I can't get that to work. People of Southeast nations in conflict. Southeastern could be a reference to SE, and conflict could be an anagram indicator for SE and nations. But is there an anagram of SE nations, which means people? Not that I can see. Learn about protecting small. Volcanic Island. No. Anonymous person having one for the road. No. Chat. Sociable Teresa is in need of. Yes, a hidden clue. Great. Blether. So the hiddenness is indicated by in need of and in the middle of sociable Teresa you've got the word blether which means chat 
British vessels in Scottish waters. Yes, I was about to put barks in, but it's burns. So that was a, a bit of a trap. So British is B. Vessels could be urns or arks. But burns are Scottish waters and barks aren't. They're a ship. Wow, this is interesting. An S in the middle. So it's not of. Pretty good. Cleaner. We'll leave things thus. So, unlikely to be saint. So I think so is the only two-letter word which fits. Pretty good. Ah, yeah. This is a slang expression. Uh, I was going to say not so shabby, but that doesn't quite fit. But I'm sure the principle is the same. Pretty good, not so something. Cleaner will leave things thus, not so, and then a word which means something like dirty. Attacks, wasted. Wow, well, now the definition is usually at the beginning or the end, but... Ah, this looks like it could end into, so attacks could be something like lays into. Wasted on criminal. Yeah, criminal, criminal looks like an anagram indicator for wasted and on, uh, which is eight letters. We need nine, so one's arrested means that I for one is included. So what do we have left from wasted on once we remove S-N-T-O? We have weighed, so it is weighed into... Great W as a crossing letter, that's often helpful. Increasingly intolerant. Hurried back to confront Bowman, perhaps. Wow, not getting that. Learn about protecting small. Volcanic island. I wonder if this is Dominica. Small could be mini. Let me put this in and see if I can work out the word play. So volcanic island is the definition for Dominica. Small could be mini and around that is do and ca. So learn is do, I think, and about is ca, the abbreviation for circa, the Latin for about. Plotting together in cahoots. Old American is Inca and laughs is hoots. Hit record. Nope. Protest about the president. My goodness. I think the president's going to be Ike for Eisenhower, the American president. Yeah, and protest is cry. And my goodness is an interjection, and crikey means the same as my goodness. Great, two very useful crossing letters, K and Y. Hit record. No. And 13 down, pretty good. Not so. We'll leave things thus. Not so dusty, that's it. It's a bit of an old expression, but it means pretty good. Visiting Lou. Daughter is. Looks like it begins D and is. With D being the abbreviation for daughter. And then upset. Wow, I need one or two more letters in for this. Failing. To grab old, express, yeah, this is voice. Failing is vice. And to grab old, to grab O, the abbreviation for old. And then to express is to voice. Great, V, that must help. Visiting Lou is upset. Gosh, I'm still not getting it. Visiting Lou. 
is going to the toilet. So, dis... Nope, not getting that. And I've already looked at 19 down. She does burn fish. Yes, wow, triple definition here. So, a char is can be a reference to a cleaning lady, and to do is to clean, so she does can be a definition for a char. Burn is to char, as in to singe, and a char is also a fish. This PM no longer has to accommodate English. Gosh, there can't be too many prime ministers. Aha, uh -huh. beginning with H, and there aren't, but Heath is one of them from the 1970s, Prime Minister of England and the United Kingdom. No longer has, well, hath is an old expression for has, as indicated by no longer, and to accommodate or contain English, and E is the abbreviation for English. Timid troop began to rally. Troops could be a reference to RE, the Royal Engineers. So I'll leave that in for the moment. I'm not getting the rest. People of Southeast nations in conflict. Well, I and A corroborate the answer being an anagram of SE nations. Not getting the rest. Ah, M as a crossing letter. And Dominica may be wrong, although it is supported by in cahoots. Woman taken aback, coming across Tory leaders, four-letter word. Well, four-letter word I would think is tetragram. Woman taken aback. Margaret, yep, Margaret reversed across Tory leader. Well, the leader of Tory is the letter T, so reversal of Margaret about T gives tetragram a four-letter word. Fantastic. Now, anonymous person. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, an anonymous person could be referred to as A-N other. Having one for the road. Yeah, another can be a reference to another drink. Now, surely 21 across. Oh, I think this is, I think I've made a mistake with DIS. This looks like inconvenienced. Let me see if this works. So, visiting Lou... Daughter, ah, yeah, a convenience is another term for a toilet or a loo. So if you're visiting a loo, you're in convenience. And daughter is this final D, not an initial one. And upset is the definition for inconvenienced. Hit record. I think this is clock. To hit somebody is to clock them. And if you clock a time of whatever, you're recording a time of whatever. It's possible there'll be an alternative answer, but I would strongly argue that this is an acceptable one. Great. Most of the bottom right is done. 14 minutes down. These are not helpful letters. Let me look at some of the across clues. Timid. Could be reserved. Troops, RE. Began to rally, served. That doesn't really work. Began to rally. Yes, if you begin a rally in tennis, you serve. So this is right. Let me just explain it. So reserved means timid. Troops are RE for Royal Engineers. And began to rally is served in a tennis context. Cinema. In the red. A long time. Yeah, this is Odeon. 
which is a cinema chain in the United Kingdom. In the red is Overdrawn, and the abbreviation for that is OD, and a long time is an Aeon. Now, no more letters for 15 down. So it's do or die. People of Southeast Nations. Yes, surely Estonians. So Estonians are people. But are Estonians an anagram of SE nations? SE at the beginning, then NA. T-I-O-N-S. Yes, fantastic. So that is the bottom half done. One down. Argument having value. Well, value will be worth. For the poet. Yeah, this is Wordsworth, the poet. And words can be a reference to having an argument if you're having words. Tearful, wife, could be a reference to W, worried, could be a reference to eight, by half-cut Tory, tearful, gosh, I'm just wondering if this could be woeful, but that doesn't really mean tearful, it just means sad, reactionaries, Behind a drug bust, new, absent-minded, head of BBC came down after broadcast. Absent-minded, wow, I don't know. Trendy, Bishop booted out, yes, fantastic, it's right on. To be right on is to be trendy. The seaside town is Brighton, a seaside town in England. And Bishop is B, booted out of Brighton, leaves right on. Now, is that going to crack open the rest of this puzzle? Reactionaries. Yes, I think it may do. Reactionaries are rear guard, the rear guard. Behind is rear, a drug bust. Well, bust is an anagram indicator for a drug I'm going to secure a newspaper crown. Yes, wow, this is tricky. But I'm going is Tara. I think it might be a liver puddling or a more broader expression for saying goodbye, Tara. And a newspaper, well, in the United Kingdom, there is a newspaper called I. And then a tiara is a crown. This must be watery. So, tearful is watery. Wife is W. Worried is eight. By half cut Tory. Yeah, if you cut half of Tory, the first half, you're left with RY. Absent-minded. What is this? Scatterbrained, surely. So, head of BBC is B. Came down, rained, after broadcast. To scatter is to broadcast. So, closing in on the top right. Increasingly intolerant. Hurried, yeah, this is narrower. If you're narrow-minded, you're intolerant. So increasingly intolerant is the definition. Hurried is ran, back is reversed. To confront bowman, perhaps. Well, a rower could be described as a bowman, not in the sense of archery, but a bow, or well, a bow is one of the positions in a rowing boat, and the perhaps indicates that bowman is a stretched way of referring to an oarsman as opposed to an archer. Now, three clues to go. Attacker. Yes, a raider is an attacker. Losing A leaves you with rider. 
And a rider could be a knight because a knight rides a horse. Great. Two clues to go. And I still think this is an anagram of sweet P, sweet pa and E. Exceptionally sweet pa, full of energy. What could it be? So what's left if you take P, R and E? Ah, oh, there's no R in sweet pa. So I'm barking up completely the wrong tree. Exceptionally sweet. Pa, full of energy. Wow, this E could be the energy. What could Pa be? Father, sire, I'm not getting that. Female, receiving second, shot. Wow. This is a pretty deadly position to be in. Really stuck on these two clues and eight down is really unhelpful because it looks like the definition definition is shot with a question mark. So it could end with T because that would indicate a past tense and shot suggests a past tense. But female, there are so many women's names of three letters long and this is what female could refer to i've considered the more general terms of her and she and they don't work so i think i need to attack four across 21 minutes nearly 22 minutes down is this going to defeat me exceptionally sweet Full of energy looks like it's part of the word play. So the definition is either going to be exceptionally or exceptionally sweet. If it's exceptionally sweet and if energy refers to E, then pa, which I think only means father, is going to be a seven letter word, something R, something P, and then three somethings. But what could that be? I'm just mentally running through the alphabet for the first letter. And I'm looking for something which means exceptionally sweet. Not getting it. I'm now considering the third letter, which has to be a vowel. So could that be an A? Could it be an E? Unlikely. Could it be an I? What about an O? How about a U? No. Wow. Exceptionally sweet pa, full of energy. What if full of energy was the definition? Then, then what? Full of energy, exceptionally sweet, Pa. Pa must be a reference to father. So could that begin FR? Frap, frap, frip, frop, frop. No. Let me have another look at eight down. Female. Receiving second shot. I'm just considering initial letters for shot. No. 
exceptionally sweet. I'm looking at this initial letter again. Let me imagine there's an A here. Okay, how long have we got? Uh, 26 minutes down. I'm going to spend a little bit longer on this. So what if it begins something rap? Trap or wrap? Nothing's working. So what if that's an E? Not seeing anything there. So I'm again considering initial letters. And it could mean full of energy. Or it could mean exceptionally sweet. No, let's try an O. Could it be R, ah, exceptionally drop dead? What about drop dead for exceptionally? Can I get the word play to work? Sweet is drop, as in confectionery. Pa is dad, goodness knows why I didn't consider that. Full of energy, full of E, so it is drop dead. 26 minutes down, female receiving second shot. Three letter female, what is it? Ah, yes, it is a gen generic term. I consider dam, but not doe. A doe is a female deer. So female is doe, receiving second, and then a dose of medicine is a shot of medicine. Wow, that was a bit of a scare at the end. So, every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray. More hoping, no errors, fantastic. Wow, what a challenge, how long was that? 27 and a half minutes. I, I give myself 30 minutes when I'm doing it on a daily basis and then stop. And I was very close to hitting hitting that, that time point, but what a puzzle and what a final two clues, drop dead and dose. And really the, the two, it was difficult because they, they interlocked and eight down in particular was really unhelpful. And I think the key to those final two clues is that I didn't consider Doe as, as a generic female name. And for some reason, I didn't consider dad for, for father. And I think if I had considered either of those, maybe it would have been slightly, slightly less hopeless at the end in terms of solving. But it was a beautiful puzzle nonetheless, but I certainly found that quite a stiff challenge and not just the last two clues, but getting started and all the way through. So my guess for the snitch is that it might be in the 90s, but absolutely super fun n nonetheless. Now, last week, I at the end of the solve, I showed a short clip from the listener crossword setters dinner in Bristol, and I included a very small snippet from the guest speaker, Andrew Bremner, who sets beautiful listener crossword puzzles every, well, the listener comes out every Saturday and Sabre sets one or two a year, and they're always of extremely high standard. But he was the guest speaker. I included a few seconds in the vlog, but the full speech is available for anyone who wants to see it at the Patreon page below. The Patreon supporters support the channel and there are bonus Scrabble videos on the Patreon site, but there's also this one video of Sabre's speech, which is free for absolutely anyone to look at. So if you're interested in that, do check out the link below. Now, absolutely fantastic puzzle today. So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.